Hey dear everyone, welcome again. This is uh, week two, day one. I'm the paperback podcaster and sorry I've been away for a while and then I've not done any videos. So I went away for a break and then uh, now I'm back fresh, right? Well, there are not many people that have been following the, my videos, but that's fine. Right, I have some lessons to share today. Uh, same, I hope that this would be informative to you. So the topic today, and actually, you know, I also realized that I should have a team, you know, uh, for my topic for each week, so it's easier for you all to follow. Right. So today, uh, I'm going to start this week with this topic of lessons. Right. So for the next seven uh, days worth of uh, videos and uh, sharing, these will all be mainly centered around lessons in life. Now one of the lessons in life uh, that I like to share and today starting week 2 day 1 is having the right mentor. Yes, the right mentor. I'm not referring to a mentor that teaches you, you know, math, science or English. No, none of those. I'm not interested in that. I'm talking about the right mentor for life. Now, have you ever wondered why some people make it so quickly in life? They do not need to exert much effort, but yet they are the head of the game. Right? They are head of the race, they are head of the rat race. They made it in life, soon. Ever wondered why some others fail so badly? And that some others not only fail badly, but they repeat the same mistakes. Oh, wow. And more importantly today is, shouldn't you also ask this question of why you are where you are today? Right. And many of these can be quite easily answered with, you know, this uh, question, I mean, with this very simple question of, have all these people found the right mentor? Right. I've seen friends that succeed very well and readily because they have the right mentor, people that teach them the ropes of the trade. And they do quite well in what they do. Right. Um, and I have to say that I didn't do too badly because I had a mentor. Yeah, and he did help me a lot. So I got to where I am today. Right. As to where I am today, I think I'll leave that as a secret for now. Right. So let's move on. Making mistakes. You know, why is it so important to have the right mentor? Okay, let me tell you. Without the right mentor, you are very likely to make very damaging mistakes financially or maybe physically or in some other ways. Having fallen and made various costly mistakes, I asked if I should not have made these mistakes at all. Right. I, I ask myself all the time because the mistakes that I have made, these are not cheap, these are very costly mistakes. Like for instance, losing money in a business venture, that may sound familiar to some of you, right? Now, the fact is that, you know, lessons are best learned when you lose real money, right? You get hurt, you know, in a very tangible way. Warren Buffett said that, said before, that the experience of losing real money is different. It's just simply different from, you know, and it's very different from what people describe in books. When you lose your money yourself, you learn your learn. Uh, you learn from your mistakes quite readily. I mean, I assume that you are sound, you're fairly intelligent. That's why you're watching my videos. So, and making a mistake shows the deficiencies in what you did. In my case, it's what I did and why it went wrong. So, it gives us an opportunity to understand. Right, <clears throat> and you know when you understand what went wrong, that enables you to avoid those same problems later on. And mistakes form the experience base of a person. If you absorb the mistakes that you made, and you appreciate the mistakes you have made, you can become very intelligent and very careful. Maybe you might not be very intelligent, but you will, you should rightfully become very careful and very prudent. In fact. In, you know, in your subsequent, you know, I mean, work, 
relationship, whatever it is. And I'll do that one more thing. These mistakes, especially the costly ones, should not be made later. In fact, you should make them earlier. Because the earlier you make these mistakes, it allows you to, you know, I mean, you have the, the youth, you have the energy to climb up, recover, and, you know, at, at, at least your opportunity cost is not as great. So when you're young, and if I can say this, be bold, be adventurous, just do it. Right, make the mistakes, fine, get up, you know. If you fall badly, get up again. That's fine too. Now, the problem in, you know, the place I stay in, in the country where I live in, is that people are not taught to make mistakes. They're taught to avoid mistakes completely. And that, in my opinion, is very, not very helpful in, you know, in bringing up a person, educating people to be good people next time. Anyway, and I have to say this, the experience is invaluable because it ensures more sound and clearer decision making in future. Because what would happen next, you know, once you're 20, you're 30, when you're 40, you're going to make some of the very important decisions in life. Or maybe for the matter, 30. When you're 30, you're going to make certain very important decisions in life. Like for example, buying your first house, uh, buying a car, having a family. And you know what? These are cases where experience is incredibly important because without which you can't decide carefully, you, you can't decide properly like what is best and what fits you know, your future and what is truly what you want. So I, I like to emphasize again that experience is very invaluable. Don't underestimate them. And you know some of the best people to, you know, to gain this experience from is our parents, or rather are our, our, our parents. So, and, you know, like parents being parents, the country I come from, parents are generally quite naggy, and, uh, you know, and young people, kids, don't like to hear, you know, uh, experience sharing from elderly, right? But here I like to emphasize, remember, it is very valuable and you know because you know as you grow older you, you can't afford to make many mistakes you know quote you an example that what Warren Buffett said before he said that imagine if you have a punch card with 20 punches on it yeah and you just remember that how many times can you make a mistake 10 20 imagine that if you have only that num limited number of uh, mistakes that you can make, it means that every every single decision that you're going to make must be carefully thought of, right? That's experience. That's where experience is very important, right? Now, uh, my sharing today is to demonstrate, maybe, and if, you know, and the other more important thing is really to explain to you the importance of having a mentor in life because that enables you to significantly shorten your learning curve. Now if you're 20 or you're just going to start work, you may not realize how terrible and how painful this learning curve can be. right? But if you're able to eliminate a large part or even all of this you know, uh, learning curve and including those financially damaging mistakes, wow, you know what? you wouldn't have to go through what many other people are going through. You save time, you save your money, you can do more things in life. Let me add one more thing. Having a mentor in life is also important in another aspect. Many lessons in life are not obvious. You know, you, you can't tell, you know, upfront because you do need experience to be able to tell like why certain lessons are important. For instance, checking for car tires, for puncture before driving off. Now, if you, you know, as a lay person or maybe a beginner driver, it may not be obvious as to why is it important to check for punctures. It may not be obvious at all. So if you have a mentor that, that could explain, you know, to this beginner driver that, 
hey, you know what, you need to check for the car tires before driving off. So, you know, in case if there's a puncture, then you should just get the tire patch and not drive off and, and uh, not realize that there's a puncture. So, experience matters a lot. And Amazon leads you through the woods with fewer steps. So, shouldn't it make sense to obtain the aid of an experienced tour guide when you're in a foreign state? So, my point here is that mentors in life come with a great deal of experience, if you can find them. Right. And that's why they can give you a helping hand, and you're able to go through life, you know, I mean, with less mistakes, less falls, less setbacks. Yeah, and make it better through all of it. Where can you find one? Now, that's a tough question. Friends, colleagues, acquaintances uh, and it really depends on the circle of friends that you hang out with you know if you are fortunate you hang out with uh, friends that are of certain you know background and they are fairly established in their careers good uh, you might be able to leverage on them you know to help you along and you know and perhaps even get one of them to be your mentors but if you happen to be in a group of uh, you know young people, then it can be quite difficult, you know. Let's put this um, point across bluntly. What can you learn from another person who is as ignorant? Well, you know the answer. Nothing, right? So it is important to you know to have people in life that are experienced. You learn from them, right? And very often, you know, I share with my colleagues in. And friends that the circle of friends that you have matters a lot because how you behave how you see things like you know like the way the sort of things i'm sharing today all these are heavily influenced by my experiences and the sort of people that i hang out with right the sort of things that I came across i and of course you know i have uh, gone a long way right made many mistakes right and those are not cheap and I'm still <laughs> trying to recuperate from those mistakes. So, and you know, I, I realized that my problem was that I had gotten, you know, to know a few not too good friends, not too good friends, and that was a problem because then it affected the way I saw things, right? And you have to also bear in mind that not anyone can be a good mentor. A good mentor has to be a person that is willing to share. Humble, yes, humble, because there is no point in learning from someone that has so much ego, he thinks that he knows it all, has no humility, then what for learn from him or her? You learn nothing, you know. Yes, you might learn something, but you don't learn much because someone that is higher on his or her ivory tower will not be willing to say that, oh, I was wrong. You want mentors that are honest, genuine. And tells you what they thought and tells you what they have in mind and tells you things like for example what went wrong what mistakes they made now those are good people to quote Howard Marks from Oak Tree capital management right he said this he said he said that you learn nothing from success that's a fact right you do not want to go around and meet mentors that Try Ferraris and tell you that you know how easy it is to make money and buy that Ferrari or Lamborghini. So because that's quite pointless. You don't want to hear of uh, all the success stories. You want to know from these mentors and from them genuinely, genuinely, how they got through all these hurdles and what can you learn out of these. And good mentors are very hard to come by, right? And uh, good mentors would show you the way and. You know what? Uh, in Chinese saying, uh, they say this that uh, bitter medicine is good cure, right? So, which is precisely correct. And good mentors will share with you lessons and experiences that you may not like. But that's where you learn because if you find an experience being shared with you and, and that experience you find is extremely unpleasant, that means you're starting to learn, you know, starting to try to accept that. You know, trying to integrate that into your 
way of thinking. So, and good mentors share very blunt lessons, and that's where you learn a lot, you know. You wouldn't want to learn from someone that has made it to, you know, the Fortune 500. You want to know what happened to those that didn't make it to the Fortune 500. What did they do wrong? Well, that's what matters, you know. And avoid people that trumpet a lot. Trumpet as in, they tell you things like, Oh, they did this, and they did that. They made a lot of money. That's where they, that's how they end up where they are. Avoid them, because boastful people also teach you nothing. Right? You want to know people who are very humble, and people who are very honest. People who really want to help you, give you a helping hand. So that's my sharing today. I hope that uh, this series of videos this week on this topic of lessons will be very informative to you. I'm the Paperback Podcaster and till then, thank you for watching and have a great day. Thank you.